Nicholas Region is with Borg Warner. They've got some very interesting technology here that ties into electric cars, both on the heating and the cooling. Nicholas, take us through what you've got here. Okay, uh, let's start with, with what I think is the most interesting. Here we see the high voltage coolant heater. So we've had many variations of this product. So the shape we see here is just one of them. Uh, the high voltage coolant heater is, I think, a very interesting story because it's connecting Borgwarner history to the recent development in uh, electric vehicles, bringing everything together and uh, best come last, it's even made in Michigan. That's so, amazing. Where, where in Michigan is this made? Uh, this is made in Cadillac, so three hours north from Detroit. Close enough for anyone, all of our customers to drive there and come back within a day. Uh, I've been doing that quite a lot, it's very convenient. And what does this uh, do exactly then? So, like the name says it, a high voltage coolant heater. So, the summary of it, it's like a smart kettle. Like the kettle you have at home. But this one, what it does different is, instead of being 1,500 watt, it's 10 kilowatt. So, six times the power of your kettle at home. Um, and like everything in automotive, uh, we bring a layer on the top, so it's a smart kettle. And what that means is that this device uh, is able to do self-diagnostics, so identify any issue that may be going on. It's also able to protect itself to some conditions that are unexpected, nonetheless, that are unwelcome. So it has the robustness that the automotive products need and also the compactness. This one here was one of our older sample. It's a lot larger. We have devices that are like extremely compact, uh, going, like I said, from three to 10 kilowatts uh, of heat generated power. So, so you've got other units not on display here, but are smaller than this. Exactly, uh, especially if you would take a three kilowatt heater, it's about this size, a 10 kilowatt is about this size. So that's also a, a 10 kilowatt one. How long have you been working on this? So, this is a product we did not uh, purchase. We made it in-house. So that story, if I have to start at the start, it's been a long, long time ago. I don't even know. Um, Borgwana, at that time, we were doing in a niche market, air heater, which I will show you after. These were just useful for some, ut ut some vans that are used in the northern countries. Uh, because in this area, the internal combustion engines is not sufficient to provide enough heat for the cabin. So we were on this niche market, and then one day, the electric vehicle came. And for, with that, the need to have a dedicated heating device for the vehicle. Uh, Borgwana took the opportunity, I mean, we were asked, we collaborated with one of the first uh, massive uh, launching um, OEM for electric vehicles. And, um, that has been a very good success story. Until the point when we realized that air heater was only one part of the market. There was also the coolant heater. And we already had the know-how in-house to do it. Bogwana is well known to do EGR cooler, so we were experts in heat transfer. And we brought this know-how from our EGR coolers and the know-how from our air heater together to make the high voltage coolant heater. That was in 2021 when we launched the first time. And although we were a bit late on the game, some other suppliers were there first. Uh, thanks to the huge inertia that Borgwana gave us, we managed to move within just a few years from a newcomer to the market leader. So a nice success story, I think, from a product made in house. Yeah, very interesting. So let, let's talk about this uh, high voltage air heater. Yes. What, what does it do? So the high voltage air heater, like the name says it, it's using high voltage from the battery to heat up this very good looking um, heat transfer element to heat up the air. In this element, the air that later goes in the, in the cabin pass through and is in, instantaneously uh, heated to the right temperature for the cabin needs. 
Uh, this is right now the fastest way to heat up a vehicle. You can compare it with doing a hair dryer at home. You plug in, turn on the button, and it blows within second hot air um, on your hair there. This one provides hot air within seconds in your cabin uh, as needed. Boy, I would like that even in an internal combustion engine vehicle, not just an electric one, for the instant heat in cold right. winters. Right, this is a more premium solution than the high voltage coolant heater, but in this more premium vehicle, this is a very welcome extra luxury that the customer are really appreciating. Yeah, very interesting. And just going back to the, the high voltage one, this is for the power electronics then, just so I understand? Exactly, so the use of the coolant heater, why do we even want to heat up the coolant? Well, there are simply two uses of it. One use is that this coolant will directly flow to the battery, because the battery, to be charged fast, needs to be warm, about like the human body temperature. So the coolant heated will flow through the battery and will heat up the battery. And I will show you how just right after that. Uh, the other use is to heat up the cabin. So the coolant will go through a heat transfer device, which will also heat up the cabin. This is a lot faster than the usual internal combustion engine, but not exactly as fast as the air heater, somewhere in between. Okay, and then you got the cooling part of it. Exactly, perfect transition. Thank you for that question, by the way. <laughs> uh, so this is a, a smaller version of the real one. The real ones are 1 meter 20, 1 meter 80 in length, so much, wide, much longer than that. This device is called a high, um, an e-cooler. So, as you can see in the shape, the wavy shape, uh, each blade goes between each, um, between the cells rows. So we're gonna have a row of cells here, of battery cells, cylindrical formic, and then we're gonna have another row of e-coolers following that one. And you can imagine here already having a round cell here. So within the vehicle, we will have about the lowest packaging will be six for a PHEV, and for a large BEV, we're gonna have a hundred of them. Uh, this device, what it does, it's an extruded piece of aluminum, well isolated for electric isolation in particular. And the coolant, which we just talked about before from the coolant heater, will flow through this device, and you have to imagine that inside this e-cooler, there is a cavity, it's extruded, and the coolant will go one way and come back and will have a direct contact with the battery cells and will heat them up extremely fast. And it will cool them down too though, right? Or exactly, no? as per need, uh, I'm more in the heating through, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if those need to be uh, thermally regulated, they will also be cooled down uh, from the same coolant flowing through it. Very interesting. What am I missing here? Anything else that you need to add? Um, in general, the interesting things uh, going back on both these products is that when Bok One launched it, we were very excited uh, to shift toward the battery electrical vehicle market, which everyone was really wanting to be part of. And we've, we've been very successful. Again, we are market leader on this product. What's happening now is that these products are also being used on PHEV, uh, the plug-in hybrid electrical vehicle. So this line of product that we've been developing for battery electrical vehicle now is coming back closer to the internal combustion engine um, through the mean of the plug-in hybrid electrical vehicle. So it's a nice way to see that this product that we've been making, again, growing internally, nothing here has been just bought, We've developed that technology ourselves, coming from, internal from, coming from internal combustion engine to the battery electrical vehicle, and here, closing the loop to the PHEV vehicles. Excellent. Nicholas, thanks so much for your time and explaining everything so thoroughly. Thank you, John. It's been a pleasure to you. The automotive industry continues to evolve, and so do the opportunities to define it. Borg Warner, one of the world's most admired companies, gets its partners where they need to go. Let's do something big, together.